Hello YouTube, this is The Rebricker. It has been forever. I figured I'd come back, bring you a quick build of my own. Uh, it's been a crazy busy winter, been building, getting ready for Brick Can. Super excited to be there. And uh, also with our AGM coming up for the uh, Lego Club that I'm a member of, I get the privilege of building an award this year, a trophy. And I was actually gonna show you how it's built because I think it's something you guys would uh, like to try also. It's a small mechanical trophy. You can build whatever you want on top. In the case of this one, this is in honor of a past member of the club, Dean Lavelle. And this is the Dean Lavelle Award that will be awarded to the build of the year as voted by the members. So we're gonna go through how to build this uh, because it's a great piece. It's a, it's a solid little base and you can build whatever you want and it just mounts on top. So this build is in conjunction with uh, what I won the Dean Lavelle Award for last year uh, for my Burrard Street Bridge. So we have a mini Burrard Street Bridge that I'm gonna be putting on top of this trophy for the winner of this year's award. I'm gonna get this build set up and we're gonna build it. So we'll be right back. How we've got everything blown apart. So just to run through the parts here, we have 16 one by four bricks. We've got seven one by two profile bricks, just to give it a little bit of texture. We've got two four by eight plates. We've got six two by three plates, two two by eight plates, six two by two plates. We've got two of these two by two round plates with a hole in it. It's kind of like a donut. We got a worm gear. We've got a Technic uh, lift arm with pin. We've got a single stud long Technic beam, four bushings, two half bushings, a 24 tooth gear. We've got eight corner bricks with the corner cut out. Gives it some nice texture when you're building it. Then we've got one one by two Technic brick with one hole. That one's gray because you see it from the outside. These other ones, I just went with red bricks and white brick because it's gonna be on the inside. So we've got one white one by two Technic brick, three one by two bricks, two two by four Technic plates with the holes in it. Uh, we've got two of these. Um, I just wanna call it a helicopter uh, propeller of some sort. At least that's what I first saw it in when I started building Technic. The fact that it's five studs wide makes it easier to center what you're building, uh, that you're gonna have rotate on top of this, but you can really use anything that has the axle hole in it because we're gonna have an axle sticking out of the top. So I've got two of those, gives it some good strength. Then I've got an eight stud axle. I've got an eight stud axle with an end stop on it. And that's all of the pieces. So it's about a 70 piece build. Let's get building. And I'll just start by dropping pieces. Okay, let's get building. So take these two plates and a donut, put that on there. And we'll start by building a nice corner at the bottom. And we'll go with some one by four brick. Pretty straightforward. Then we're gonna go with some texture on here. With these profile bricks. And then more one by four brick. of these, stack them up, and put the one by two white one that's gonna go inside. So we'll put that on the inside like that, just behind that profile brick. And then we'll take the axle with the end stop, slide that through. We'll put one bushing on. We'll put the worm gear on. We'll keep pushing this through. Put another bushing on, keep pushing through. The last bushing on, and that Technic brick. 
make sure it rotates nice and easy. From there, we'll actually put our crank on. And just make sure you're not squishing it tight so it can rotate nice and easy. And this piece just gives us a nice smooth handle for easy turning. Let's keep building. Let me go up. And you'll see that these 1x4 bricks, they offset. It gives you much better strength so it doesn't fall apart when you're done. It always looks bad when you give someone a trophy and it falls apart. So I'll just go a little bit taller because we're going to go one more layer here. And we'll put our corners in. One corner. Two. Three. And four. And you probably guessed it. One by four brick. One. Two. Three. And four. At this point, that's the base that I showed you at the beginning. So now let's build the platform that everything sits on. So we'll take the two Technic plates, we'll put them together like an X, and we'll go two by three, and a two by three, and a two by two to hold it together. And we'll go two by three, and a two by three, and a two by two to hold it together. Then off the top, we'll go with a 2 by 3 like that, like that, like that. And then we'll add this for strength, and also it gives it a kind of a nice pattern on top. And again, use whatever colors you have. This could be a bright red trophy. You can make it out of yellow or gold. If you've got gold pieces kicking around, um, whatever works. And we'll put that donut on top just to make that smooth. So now we'll take our two Technic pieces here with the axle hole. I'm going to put them together. And I'll slide this axle just so it's flush. If it sticks up too much, then it's going to interfere when you try and mount something on there. And underneath this, I'm going to go with the two half bushings. You could use one regular bushing. I just like the look of two half bushings. It gives it sort of an industrial look. We'll slide that through the hole. And on the underside, we'll just use the one full bushing. And not too tight. You gotta make sure that that can spin nice and easy. And then underneath that, we put the Technic or the uh, 24 tooth gear. So we have our base, we have our top, we'll put it together. And just like that, we have a rotating trophy. Let's grab our uh, signature of this trophy that we are building for the person who's going to be getting it. Lock that on top, and there you have it. A beautiful base for a trophy to give to someone who's truly deserving. And in this case, this is going to go to a very skilled builder. I can't wait to see whose build it is. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe like this video. I don't post a lot of videos recently and I'm super sorry. I really would love to change that. But hey, if you mark the, uh, the notification icon, you'll be notified when a new video comes up and then that way you won't miss a thing. Hope to see you again soon.